Now to demonstrate. And for this I need to uh, switch to my servers. I have uh, three servers running. I have uh, blue, green, and silver. That's silver, and that's green. And I have Thin Manager running. And I have two terminals, uh, Foxtrot and Multi-Monitor. Foxtrot is running Calculator and Oven. And I believe I've got to restart that to have the oven show up. And then I have, as I said, display servers. We had to add cameras to the terminal servers because both of them will provide display. So we have a category called display servers where we list our terminal servers. And we also list our cameras. I have two of them defined here. I'll define another one. And then you have your display clients, the traditional terminal services ones, you know, I'm running calculator, HMIs, uh, different programs like that. You have your terminal shadow, and then you also have camera display clients. Now the first thing that you need to do is run uh, the configuration tool to configure your camera. And often they will do that through a browser, and so they will give you an IP address for it and then you go and connect to it. It will ask for a username and a password. And then you are able to connect to the camera. This is uh, what this one is showing. It's showing um, the desktop that I have running. And then you would run your setup and um, you know set up your network, set up your IP address, set out the video feed, what size you want it to run. And again, this is better to display the same uh, feed that's coming out of the camera. You know, different things like that. And then once you have that done, you just save it and uh, you're good to go. So that's the first step in this, is adding it to the network to configure it. Then the second thing you need to do is define it as a display server. So if I come into the display servers and I go add a camera, I'm going to add a camera, camera 71. I already have, let me uh, cancel this, I already have camera 70 and 72 defined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add camera 71. Uh, you need the IP address. Excuse me. Interesting, 71. Uh, the port that you use, and I, we're using port 80, which is the standard. And then you put in a username and password. I should say you put in the username and password. This is allows you to access the camera, so when the terminal tries to get the video feed, the camera will send it to it. And then go finish. Now, different cameras have different uh, settings. I don't believe that I uh, set the uh, make and model. This is a D-Link um, DC, uh, DCS910, although it would have worked as a generic. This is an Axis, um, which is a more industrialized one. And Axis also has camera options that you can set here as to what resolution you're getting and different things like that. Then once you have set up your camera, you can use the connect button and connect from within Thin Manager to that interface. This is one that's showing the multi-monitor box that has four screens on there. So you can use the connect button to connect to your Thin Client or to your cameras from within Thin Manager to do that uh, configuration um, that's required to put it on the network. To make changes, you can do it within there. So I've added it to the network. I've defined it as a display server. Now I can dis deploy it as a display client. So what I'll do is I'll right click and go, I'll add a display client. And I'm going to call this one camera one because I'm just going to put one camera on it. You see I have to add an overlay. And you can have it moved in thin in multi-monitor. Now I could create a custom overlay where I can make whatever size I want. 
you know, if I made this a uh, 100, 100, 100, oh, that's probably a bad idea, 320 by 240, and just any name for that, that's where the uh, overlay would be. And I'm going to remove that one. Or instead of using a custom one, I can use an existing one, a one, uh, a split screen, two of them, or two vertical, or I could have four of them. We have a number of different um, uh, templates that you can add the cameras. Well, on this one, I'm just going to add a single camera. Then you go next. Which camera do you want on there? I'm going to add camera 70. Finish. And it's that simple. I've created a group called camera 1. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to call this camera 4. And I'll allow it to be moved. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the 2x2. Two two. So I'm going to have four cameras on this. And then I'll go next. On the first one, I will add camera 70. And that what I'm doing is configuring this corner for overlay 1. And then if I hit next, I'm now doing this corner where the gray is. And on this one, I'm going to add camera 71. And then I'm going to do the bottom left-hand corner. I'll use all of the cameras that are available, but I'm going to start at 71 and then on the final corner I'm going to use all the cameras available but I'm going to use 70 and you also have overlay options where you can uh, scale crop make it interactive um, show the complete camera name you can make the border size bigger um, you can make the title uh, very large you can cycle um, a number of different things in there and then I hit finish so if I go back to my terminals and I go to Foxtrot and I double click on it all I have to do is go into the wizard and pick those two display clients and add them to Foxtrot I'll restart him so that it has that configuration and then when Foxtrot comes up it should have these application groups, calculator, the uh, oven, and then these two cameras. So if I shadow them, you'll see calculator, you'll see my oven. And notice in the oven I got a spot for a camera overlay. And then if I go to camera one, I have a single camera. Let me turn the lights off so we can see that better. And there you can see the multi-monitor box has uh, got the uh, blue oven, the green tank farm, a black and white help, and then this over here is actually a calculator. And then if I go to camera two or camera four, I'll show four cameras. Um, two of them, I'm showing the same camera twice in both places. Uh, this one, as you recall, I made the, uh, the name bigger. And on these, if I click on it, it will allow me to pick which camera I want to view. And I can change which camera is watching because I have several cameras listed there. And if I wanted to, I could even go full screen. I could click in here and go full screen. And it will show that, although it's a little bit pixelated and a little bit harder running, because I am doing a lot more and then I can go back to restore to the original size and so it's relatively easy to do and you can have multiple cameras running um, you can have um, the ability on a multi monitor box to show several of them at the same time and you know you could have one screen just devoted to cameras